Hello, it's、uh, Beanie here. Today, let's take a look into STI on the 14th of June, 10:37 a.m. and the one stop. All right, today I'm not going to do one stop. I'm just going to talk about the hottest,、uh, you know, recently, which is Bitcoin. All right, so we saw the plunge in crypto recently, and the question is always, can you see that plunge before it happened? And the next question is that can you benefit from that? So this is what I'm going to discuss. Okay, so first let's take a look quickly into STI.、Uh, it happened exactly as what I've、um, said, and it's play out exactly. So、um, I've drew in this、uh, blue horizontal line, the upper one, right? Yesterday, and I said that only if STI can close above three thousand one hundred eighty, then we can see some bullishness. Indeed, that it was just resisted by the blue line and continued to go down. Now today, STI gap down because of the overnight US market. And we are seeing that it's even lower than the、um, March low. Okay, so this low here, right? Now, so based on my prediction, the、uh, next near-term support would be three thousand one hundred and two. Take a look at this uh, green, uh, sorry, orange、uh, crossed, you know, line that's being、uh, projected here, three thousand one hundred and two. Okay, if STI is going to drop below this three thousand one hundred and two. Then I think that there is a very high chance for STI to visit three thousand. All right, one number, one key number, one major key number to、um, that you want to remember, which is this number here that I just mapped in, is three thousand and forty-one. Now,、uh, as long as STI is above three thousand and forty-one, then the trend will be intact, the uptrend will be intact. But if it's below it, Then we can start to see that STI is、uh, probably going to、uh, suggest a bit of a trend reversal. All right, we saw that the U.S. overnight market is already for S and P, for example, is already showing signs of reversal. And perhaps that if you want, I can do a video to update on what's happening with the U.S. indexes.、Um, and you can also watch one of the video where I predicted、um, that the、uh, you know the U.S. indexes will do such a huge correction. All right, earlier around、uh, I think、uh, Jan this year. All right, so、um, do watch out for this key level three thousand and forty. All right. In the meanwhile, let's proceed to the next part, which is talk about Bitcoin. Okay, BTC versus USD, and how you can see that plunge,、um, you know, already happening with prices. All right. So this is、uh, Bitcoin BTC versus USD. So this is the recent plunge. All right. So, how do you know that you know this kind of uh, um, huge move is gonna come? So, one of the things that you want to know is that if it should be bullish, it would be you know reversing upwards very quickly. It won't take a long time to be hovering flat here. Okay. So, a lot of people say that hey, look, you know this resemble probably like a、uh, distribution or accumulation. Whether it's distribution or whether it's accumulation, it's a thin fine line. Right, so we do not know whether this is distribution or accumulation until unless that the subsequent price movement happen. But we can have a little bit of a clue. For example, previously it was down. All right, so if price kept pushing higher without breaking key significant levels, then it's likely to be a distribution. I'm going to repeat this. Right. So how do I know, or how do we know that, for example, it's likely to be a distribution? So for example, right, we saw that there was a, a lot of、uh, resistance over here. That means that price kept being,、um, you know, pushed down at this place here. That means there was a bit of a,、um, how to say, a pause, a bit of a selling, a bit of a resistance. Okay. So I'm just going to mark this as an R. Right, and then、uh, we saw that, for example, during this period of time, so this this was that period, you know, price was being pushed up, okay, being pushed up, right, but it still hit into the key resistance. That means that it never, never really break above any,、um, you know, of that resistance, okay,、um, you know, for example, if I just extend this line here, so there was a bit of a, you know,、uh, attempt to push through it. But ultimately, it resulted in a wash and rinse. Okay, so wash and rinse is something that I've designed, something that I'm、um, using very extensively, whether it is for stocks or whether it's for forex or cryptos or for gold. All right, it works in any instruments, but basically, you know, it lets you have that analytical framework and that trigger to go and take that trade. So there was a push up right into the resistance, and it failed and resulted in a wash and rinse. All right. And the market can be really very, very、um, excessive. All right, I wouldn't say that it's very tricky, 
but you know many times that you will use this kind of uh, slightly you know or very bullish bar to go and trick you but if you take a look at the end output it still didn't break above that resistance okay it is still being resisted and eventually what happened eventually resulted in the wash and rinse right according to what i have here um but for us we treat that as you know a fake break or fake proof a push and then eventually you know it resulted in a short uh, for us okay so there was a short signal for us on the um, 7th of June right and then there wasn't any exit signal so if you can then you basically have a short signal around 30,000 in Bitcoin I repeat 30,000 all right in Bitcoin and we are still in the game okay now so um, remember right we we need to know that the market has a lot of assessments and the market has a lot of tricks but all in all well, we need to know whether a particular level can stay okay and whether you know the market has purposely artificially inflate or deflate prices for its own benefit and i call this uh, phenomena wash and means if you'd like to know more about wash and means you can uh, use the link below that i put up to take the free course that uh i know uh i have uh done right um, that's a free module on wash i mean is module one but um, the module two is uh, uh, payable at 700 dollars but the good news is that it can be fully refunded in cash all right so um, you know there's a promotion going on 30th of june and if you can meet the criteria which is a very very simple criteria and then you can have the 700 dollars um, fully refunded to you in cash which means that essentially the cost fee is zero to you Okay, you can use that in the stocks, you can use that in uh, Forex, in crypto, or whatever that you want to use that. Um, and then, you know, um, it's, there's a lot of things, just go and find out, right? But that's not the key today. today. Now, the key to today is then, uh, will Bitcoin continue to drop? Okay, the Bitcoin, will it continue to drop? And if it will, then what would be the levels I'm looking at, right? Um, it's not uh it's it's known because i actually uh, did quite a lot of videos uh on bitcoin and uh, uh talk about where and how low it can go and of course the first level would be around here which adds about twenty thousand or nineteen thousand eight hundred which is actually this high here okay if you can see this was that high here um that bitcoin uh, should be uh, probably probably uh you know uh respecting at the moment so we are just like um maybe like 1000 plus um to that previous high it's very near okay so look at this support now, however if this support doesn't hold all right i probably need to do another video to talk about how low bitcoin can go